the defensive game all together, man. Uh, we really played our zone to a T. Um, we definitely was on a high communication level. We knew this team it was a team that cuts a lot and that came in, uh, you know, number two in the NBA in, the, in assists. Uh, I think they're like number five in cuts or something like that. But, you know, it was a defensive game from start to finish, and I think we did a great job of just communicating with one another. Thanks for taking questions. Um, you came off the bench and made an immediate offensive impact. Talk about, but it really, you've shared the wealth on offense as a team. Talk about the team effort, and you guys really seem to gel tonight. Um, I mean, I think that's every night, man. Uh, we got a lot of different guys who can go off on any given night. Um, you know, we watch Lou going on all his spurts and uh, just picking up and just going the ball with ease. Paul Jordan, Kawhi do it with ease. Um, Pat gets in and uh, mixes it up on what he does. But, I mean, we got a lot of different guys that can come off and uh, just have a big night. Um, but we just do a great job of sharing the ball in general. Trey, it looks like, especially on this road trip, you guys have gone to the zone more. How comfortable are you guys alternating to the men in the zone? What is that? Um, I mean, this is a learning process, man. Uh, it really just comes down to communication, really. Um, if you're in any type of zone, you're going to have to talk and you're going to have to uh, be all tied in on the same, you know, on the same line in general because the thing about it is if one person is not tied in on, you know, when to rotate or when to make that correct move, then, you know, you're obviously going to get beat, man. A zone is definitely hard to play, um, especially in the NBA because you can't just sit in the lane like you do in college. You know, you got to be able to move in and out of that three-second mark and, uh, you know, it all comes down to communication, really. Factoring in that defense three second and then the, the shooting that there's in the NBA, why has it been so effective? Like I said, communication, man. Um, you know, we're all tied in on what to do, when to bump, uh, when to make our rotation, and uh, what we're doing after there, you know, setting ball screens, you know, then it's going to work to our favor um, because, like I said, we're all tied in on one uh, line and we are moving in the same time, really. You held, uh, they only scored 99. Is, is that a significant number under 100? Does that mean anything? Um, I mean, I think, you know, if you hold any team under 100 in the NBA, man, then our opposite team is going to win. Um, you know, the NBA is a high-scoring volume game. Uh, it's a, fi a fast-paced game. And, uh, if, you know, anybody does a great job of holding the NBA team under 100 points, then the opposite team is obviously going to win the game, really. After a long road trip, how are you feeling physically? I'm fine. I mean, I'm used to this. This is my job. This is what, you know, we get paid to do. Um, you know, just like you guys are getting paid to, you know, analyze what we say and come in and ask us questions and things like this. This is my job. So I take care of my body. I get my rest. And, you know, I do all of the things that needs to be done in order to, you know, do it on an 82 game stand. Has your mindset changed a bit more on, you know, post game treatment, taking care of, like, you know, the, you know if you're doing the knees thing, the foot thing? Has, it, has your mindset on that changed as you start to play more? Nah, same mindset, brother. Um, I've been doing this, you know, basically since I came to.